Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 30, Part 2. It is the 5th of August, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hello. I'm Nico, the best captain. This name's Zora. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm playing X5. Yes, hesitation. Uh, the Android mechanic. Love it. <laughs> Hello. Yep. <laughs> Jake, here he is. <laughs> no. Not even once, kids. Not even once. Hi, I'm Colin. I'll be playing Lyco Quint. He is your sneaky, stabby, shitty man who is a bit dead. Yeah. Space cop, coast to coast. <laughs> Space ghost. Coast to coast. Mm hmm. It's coast to coast. Get me my monocle. I want to look rich. <laughs> wow, so that's genetic, is it? That's one of my favourite quotes from ah. that show. <laughs> that was, that was the bitchiest thing I've said in a while. <laughs> wow. I like Hi you. there. <laughs> I'm oh. Callum. Hi, Callum. I'll be playing Zig. <laughs> the mystical rap from space. Thank you. Thank you for that. We appreciate your uh, patronage. And speaking of Patreon, uh, if everyone could like, subscribe, and then pay us copious amounts of money to continue entertaining you, uh, that'd be great. We promise we'll do better. We don't promise this. Um, we'll if you want to stop me from so. derailing the show, send us money. If you want one of my some of my best friends or women t-shirt. And if you well. want to be my lover, <laughs> you got to get with my friends. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but let's move back to the sun. Oh. Meanwhile, in this map, where fighting happens... Ah, yes. Fight -o. Um, Fight -o. I'll bring back the turn order. Fight Name of a wrestler. Faux pas. Oh, it's nice that it keeps the order in it. Yup, yup, yup. No, really. Is, is <laughs> it Lyco O'Clock? It is indeed Lyco O'Clock. Yes, let's get some shooting done. Now, if I recall, one of them has actually moved into range like a fucking idiot. So I don't even have to ready. What I think I could do is shoot him, move away, and then end my turn. That's my plan. Anyone have any objections? Me? Yes. You do good, man. <laughs> nah, carry on. Sounds good. I'm just trying we should probably to... move away from the car, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm that. thinking moving to... Um, maybe... Somewhere like here. Not too far, but put a little distance between me and the car. <laughs> Into the sandstorm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um So I'm gonna take my shot first at you, the one who is in range. Uh well no, they're all in range. Actually That guy be in range. They're not all in range, that guy isn't. Those two both are of course. Yeah, the front yeah, two are. Guy isn't. Yeah. Um so yeah, I will shoot at that one. Um that being uh, the other guy's in range as well, the one that Zora shot at. Which one? The one Zora shot at. <laughs> I forget which one that was. That one is he in range of me or It's crazy so he is. Um and you know, that would make a lot of sense. And you also uh, get to shoot across SK's bow. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, shoot You know what? <laughs> Scaring her ever so slightly? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that fucker. Um, what I like to believe is you aimed at SK, but you missed. Uh -huh. So I'm going to take my take my nice ordinary shot. I'm not actually going to have to spend my turn aiming this um, because he is within standard range, mm -hmm. and that is not a full attack. I mean, eh? uh, against Casey, yeah, 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 it's. It hit us. Nice. As a um, tasty bit oh, of also damage. Also, apparently, I have zero ammo, which is not correct. I will check the game manager for what my ammo is. Imagine it said minus five. You owe me bullets. <laughs> it is now thirty-seven. It's an easier way to keep track of it. The game manager, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Okay. 
having killed that poor freaky eyed sap, I yeah. will. Maybe you shoot through the scope as he's trying to scope his next shot. I like that visual. Yeah, um, doesn't from angles doesn't make sense, but that's fine. It's fine. It's sci-fi. Angles don't have to make sense. Um, <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll plot myself over about 15, 20 feet. So those at home, it's funny because he's a detective and the angles always have to make sense. I'm going to go there. That's a decent distance. <laughs> Hiding under the turn order. I could go three. I could go three times as far. No, I can actually. I could go slightly less than three times as far as that. Um. Okay. But yeah, I, 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 could, be, I could be way down here. You know, I could be over here. I'm just, <laughs> just going to move the turn order. So I have uh, resolved my turn now, and would like to uh, op open the open the floor to uh, to young Callum playing Zig. Mr. Yes. Space Rat. <laughs> so <laughs> that my what heat. horrific illness are you going to inflict upon people now? Uh, none. I would hope um, it was just a, a new spell we all have to learn. Uh, <laughs> I cast Aura. Mind chasm. Um, <laughs> Mind chasm sounds great. I wish. It does, uh, it? it does sound great. Uh, so, for my standard. Make a note someday. I think you write what Mind chasm does. Mind um, chasm. I'm going to cast Reflecting Armor upon myself. Ooh. What does it do? Uh, it uh, it gives, me, gives me armor that I can choose. Uh, to if when I take hit point damage. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Wow. <coughs> oh man. Disgusting. Oh. On the recording as well. Um, now we know how manly you are by definition of the manly skill. The verbosity. <laughs> yes. Um essentially, you know, um uh, hit point damage I take uh, gets fired upon my attacker. Ooh. If I choose. The armor crackles with energy as it dissipates, arcing through the air to strike the attacking creature. This feels like um, anyone that's played Divinity 2, uh, that's Divinity Original Sin 2, the retribution yeah. skill, where it's the red lightning that sparks yes. back at people. Mm. That's essentially what I have in my brain for this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Six out of four equal blah 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 blah. Maximum ten. Dismissed. Yeah. The target can attempt to reflex save for half damage. Interesting. Yes, um, so that's what I do. And honestly, I don't fancy moving too much. Mm. To be fair, you have been put. shot twice, though. So it's up to you. If you want to stay put, that's fine. You do so. I just want to keep I you in so. the mindset of what's happened. Am I um, dropping prone or swift? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Was that movement? No, does it ever, regardless, I didn't move anyway, so yeah, I'll drop roll. Cool, give yourself the booty. Uh, for some reason. Oh, that's why. I had the wrong thing selected, mm -hmm. so I was like, I can't. Yeah, you had the measuring tool still. Select myself. Yeah. Badoof. And mark off the spell, etc. Uh, yeah, that's a level. That's a really good spell, though, I like it. Especially for you to walk in and you're a really shiny so and go, everybody! Hello, have you heard about the sun? <laughs> People shooting at you in arcs of like lightning hitting back off them or whatever. Yeah, I like it. Uh, right, Is that you done? Turn over. That's me. That's my turn. Cool. Slightly shorter than the last one. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Ever so slightly. Yep, yep, yep. Right, I got actually hid like under my turn order even more. Um, the one I can see. Yes, this is where I belong in the shadows. Uh, at level one spell. Why didn't I take that at level one? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Well, I think this guy is gonna. There's no damage bonus to sniping, isn't there? Not. No, no, it it doesn't. And you can full attack result. with a rifle, right? Uh, not if it's a sure and ah, you can't. No? Okay. Is there a so reason for that? Be. Ah. Yeah, Let me just double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's unwieldy. That sounds that's like something. Is a tactical 
Yeah, I feel like it's because of the level of it, isn't it? It's it's also just because it's it's a proper sniper rifle. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's not a bang bang. It's a bang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Sh Shooter and I unwieldy. Yes, and so no certain weapons set. just have it as well. Mm -hmm. Just basically like a one shot sort of weapon. Sniper or rifle, and it is a Shiran Eye Tactical, unwieldy, yep, exactly. Good. Uh, in that case... Hmm... I think you're just going to shoot anyway. So, guy at the top here, uh, he's going to shoot Zig, because why not? Seems like the right thing to do. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. He misses. Nah. Uh, next guy. Let's see. Who's he gonna shoot? I feel like. Hmm. Give me a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something that I should probably have done for this round. Let's let's see what happens. Two seconds, guys. You'll see it. Can't wait. To do. Can we? Can we without you? Oh. Yeah. So I'll pop her up there. And then I'll just let her interrupt them with a move. So she's going to target the guy that just shot at. Her, which I think was this guy, I believe, that shot at her. Uh, let's check ranges and see if that does mathematically make sense. Yup, it does. And uh, she's gonna go for pwa. Uh, let's see. Let me double check the properties of this gun. My god, why does nothing on their character sheets ever state the properties of them? It's something that is lacking on these character sheets. Obviously for you guys, you have manually put in a lot of your stuff, so all the stuff's there, but for mine, no. Why would I get such things? Yeah. That's my concern, my level 3 spells I just stole from the compendium, so... Yeah, no, it's good. Like, as I said, that's the whole point of the compendium, let's face it. Um, it is a handy. I just need to find the very specific... Good. It doesn't have the thing that I was worried about. Fupwah. Uh, right, okay, so one and two. So she full attacks with her laser rifle. Uh, that guy at the back who takes on the first hit 15 and then on the second hit 17. So he's just got a hole burnt through his chest. And her gun just goes as it powers down from the shot. Then I'll finish doing their turn. Next guy. And uh, right, have I taken two shots? It's like no. Take that shot. It's like no. For pwa. Pwa. That just hits, actually, doesn't it? Just hits. Yep. Cool. I shall take five. Then. All the maths that involved in your thing. So reflecting armor. So do I take what back? What do I take back? Um, I think it's if I choose. Hold on. Double check that. Uh, uh, so it's only when I take hit point damage anyway. Okay. All right. So you're <coughs> fine. You're fine for now then. So it's 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 totally fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. That was that guy's oh, turn. did you take my your thingies from me being prone as well? Uh, no, actually, what else did you get for that? Was it for ranged attacks? Well, if it's minus? a plus anything, it's to your AC, I mean. Minus four it is. I'm In that sure case, yeah, that control. misses then. Okay, cool. If you're prone. I shall not take that. Good. That's why I wanted cap up. Yeah, that was a good thing. Uh, that's one, two. That's why I made you silky. Mm -hmm. uh, right. 
this guy's going to be crazy and he's going to go for Zora. No, oh, he's a madman. How dare he? For pois. <laughs> nope. I mean, how dare he? <laughs> to be fair, he could have been going for anyone and it missed, let's face it. It, it just a shot comes flying towards, I don't know, that group of people in the middle. Let's see. You just saw so, me, it's like, holy shit. Like I mean, like, literally, that could have been aimed at anybody in this. Where was it aimed at you? Um, you've seen, he was probably just shooting at like, the tallest thing, so the, the car. <laughs> I'll <show> that. <laughs> <laughs> or the scariest thing, the giant Vesk. Like. Uh, you just see, like, a giant shadow, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> Dun 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 dun. This goddamn turn order. Let's end movie. There we go. Dun 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 dun. And then... Um, I guess I'm gonna shoot a Nyx. Because I haven't done that yet. Really properly. Come at me. No. I can't. I think that's me out of attacks, so I believe it's next. Do oh. it. Messes him up. Do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do it new. Get it did. So who's been punted recently? So those two are out. Those two are weakened. Which, how long does that last for? Like, a turn? Their life? Like, um, yes. Mm. <laughs> Good. I'll look up page four hundred and yep. whatever it is, and then I think until they get cured of it. Use one I think it, it, it might, in fact, but I don't know if it's just they need to be on that step of the path at that point. I don't. It feels really metaphysical. I don't like it. Um. Weakened, poisoned. Yes, I'm going to stick some combat tracking on someone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Uh, this is my way. Mm -hmm. On that lad down there. Got it. Yep. Probably going to need to change that colour, yeah. let's face it. It's. Yeah. It's not the greatest colour. Green. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that, don't worry. Um. And then I'm going to shoot him with the plasma cannon. That that seems a fair, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, he shot fast, right? <laughs> yep. No. He doesn't. <laughs> Zig nuked oh them. Zig shot first. I'm sorry. The uh, no, he shot seven. first in the uh, George Lucas sense. <laughs> I know, Spidey senses what I'm going, mine's quite literally. Yeah, that, that definitely hits. Yeah. Um, so, again, remind me. Electrical and fire. So is it 10 it's damage? Mm -hmm. Or is it, so it's... No. It's 5 damage, half of each. For resistance purposes. Okay, cool. So it's 5 damage, and I don't think resistances matter in this case, so it's... Five damage. I need to move this off. I guess. Okay. Wait a sec. Is that right? You realize I should have reloaded. You probably should have. I made a tactical error. In my haste to create distance. Mm. That's okay. It makes sense though that you've like. That something that maybe Lyco is like, fuck, you know, off in the sand somewhere. Fuck off in the sand somewhere, that's they say. Mm -hmm. Fuck off in the sand. I thought that's what Padme said to Anakin for the first couple of days before she gave in. Fuck off in the sand somewhere! <laughs> she did it nice. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly Natalie Portman, you're right. Sorry, I realised that I had missed put my specialised on, so it's another 7 damage. Okay. 12 damage total. 12 total, but it is just 12 damage though, yeah? Yep. Cool, that's okay. So add another 7 into that pile. Oh, move that way. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that looked like a heart. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Who'd have thought that would work? I know, right? A giant fucking artillery cannon. To be <laughs> fair, though, you and SK at the front of this look pretty baller. She's melted a guy's chest and you're working your way through a guy's chest. <laughs> it's alright. We are the artillery. <laughs> Evidently. You're the forward mounted cannons on <laughs> this new 11th hour. This one's the AM, though. <laughs> so Just to be clear, we're gonna steal their shit, right? Well, yeah, of course. Two of buggies course, yeah. of it are irradiated, Colin. So, uh, it's well, not one lingering. Of yeah, one no, of them. I assume Laika doesn't care about radiation. <laughs> well, I do, I do. Unfortunately. He's not evolved that resistance shit. You can't die much more. Oh, my alarm's going. There, there is a state <laughs> enough in which you can die, yes. <laughs> uh, anything else, Nix? I think that was everything, yeah? Um, no, it was everything. Fupla. Zora. Okay. Um, let's go to Portal. Also, I have no idea when this like radiation falls off, actually. I don't think that's audible. Is that audible? That's not audible while I speak, is it? No, so not linger. No. The radiation cloud uh, itself doesn't linger, but I don't know. Uh, let's just go. And... Oh shit. Oh shit, this man. Uh, top one, yeah. <laughs> Did I hit? <hear? laughs> uh, they're going to use their once per combat so that you do win. Uh, oh my god. Let's see. That's because you said that. <laughs> uh, your confidence is your undoing. Give mm-hmm. me two seconds to look up what this move actually does. Um, and then there will be a dramatic reveal of course. I can't wait for the dramatic reveal. I bet it's dramatic. That's interesting. Cool. Uh, also, I'm only kidding. Of course you hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you had to pass. Um, but there is an ability that they did have that I did want to read, so I used that time anyway. Um, also, the drama was worth it. Uh, See, I would have <laughs> totally done that. How much damage have <laughs> you um, For pois. Yeah. Chest, hole, you've learned from this, Kate. From Vesk Kate, I think I've just called her now. Vesk Kate. Ah, Vesk Kate. Any more tricks? Oh no, sorry, that's me. Tricks are for kids, I know, Colin. Um, I said nothing, although it is true. Colin's turn. Lyco. Lyco prayer. <laughs> um. No choice, your voice will take you there. It's a fucking banger. Um, it, it is. <laughs> I cast reload gun. Um, How does that work? How many people does it affect? Does it weaken them? <laughs> I think I might just be severely out of range. <laughs> um, I've miscalculated. The sand um, buffets against you. The sun I burns. You, I, 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 I think I've done this before, but I always forget. So I'm going to ask again. Mm. Can I downgrade my standard into a move? I, I think you can just take an... is it a run? Is that what it's called? As a... Like a run or a sprint or no, something? No, a full action is a yeah. run, so there's something else I think you can do. I'm not interested in actually moving. I want to go prone. I want to reload and go prone. There, uh, well, I mean, reload is a move action, and going prone is like a swift, so yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's going prone swift? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that means you could... Mm-hmm. Getting up is a move. Right. Can you yeah, move I go prone. closer though? Let's have a look. I don't think so. I think you actually need. I think it's the run that you actually need to do. Yeah. Can I reload as part of a move action? No, it is a move action. Yeah, it would have to be the entire move action. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll reload. I'll go prone and then reload because mm -hmm. that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, that seems uh, fair. What did we agree was the marker for prone? It's the booty. Little booty. The arse, I see. Mm -hmm. It's all about that booty. Um, and you have reloaded. Either that or I'm a punk now. Aye, that'll do. <laughs> no. The, boots, the roots, the radicals. I like punk. Um, I wouldn't describe myself as being particularly punk rock, except in some regards. Lyco's picture makes him look a bit punk. Yeah, true. We need to upgrade these tokens as well, I feel like. For those wondering, his picture is um, it's a fairly old picture of wrestler Jimmy Jacobs, known as the Zombie Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case people forgot what Lyco looked like. We d like, like we need we need to fix these tokens though. Yeah, we like we, Zora's we, is my favorite. Actually, Zora's is my absolute favorite. Let me go and zoom in on Zora. Just, uh, Look how glorious it is! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> oh that is the impression I have of that. It's just I brilliant. Like I love it. Regularly. It's it's great. Um, whereas like the upgraded tokens that we've used for like SK and Alice and all that and uh, Nix Five. Just look good, don't they? So clean. I mean, but there's oh, a difference nice between looking good and being good. Yay! Yeah. Sexy, sexy, I'm next well five. At the front, tanking it. And then, yeah, <laughs> we're showing off our new tokens. Uh, <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Wonderful Alice on the sexy new tokens as well. Psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. So, uh, mm -hmm. that's Lyco's turn, yeah? Lyco's turn is indeed done. Zig. Sweet. Uh, Caroline. Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, 40. Oh, I can do that. Excellent. I'm going to use my Swift to stand up because. Mm -hmm. That you so key power boy. Mm -hmm. The power of being closer to the gown to begin with. Yep. Uh, Thirty. <laughs> I can move to there. I'm gonna move to there. Up oh, right up next to Cap. Mm -hmm. Captain of the Watch. Too soon. Uh, oh, let's see. Forty. Forty. Yes. Uh, wait. Twenty-five plus fifteen. That's forty, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I. What's the math for doing twenty five plus fifteen? Like yes. What's what? Why is there a plus fifteen? What's what's all about? Talk to me. Uh, the plus fifteen is for um my uh, level, so six. Or I say six because per every two levels I get five five feet plus per every two levels. Okay, cool. That makes sense. There we go. Yes. Um. I'm going to mind thrust the man. Oh my. With mind thrusts. Uh, With mind thrust. Mind. Uh, mind. This gentle bean over yep. here. I figured it would be him. I assumed uh, it's not, not the dead guy. Me and Ratman are doing work at this side. We should. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Shaboom. Shamba. Uh, Thirty-nine! Thirty-nine damage! That's a Loro. <laughs> or it's got a Loro, I'm guessing. Two Loros. The rest of them are pretty juicy though. Is this a level 3 spell? It is a level 3 spell. Dear God. Dear God. Sick. Oh. I mean, you know, Seems half strong. damage, it be will saves. It does feel strong. And the, yeah, uh, that's based on the assumption that a 22 does the spell pen. It's just scary. Nobody is allowed. Like, your AC is incredible. Uh, did we? Uh, did everybody just miss the part where if you put in Ahsoki in the best Ahsoki armor, apparently, um, I make them a mystic mind mage? Like, you're dead. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, 
cast at third level, 7d10 damage. That is disgusting. Redonkulous, man. <laughs> well, let's see what happens with a will save, shall we? Oh my god. That's scary. Zig is a scary, scary 12 year old child. Um, Demon. Uh, I can't even find this guy's saves. Uh, there we go. Is that demon? Dearest medkit. Kit. He cures things by eradicating them. Well then. I don't think that does it. Fear the medkit. I think this guy's head just explodes. High five, medkit. Like, I don't think he has a head anymore. Who would after that? Like, <coughs> I could see that hat. Oh. Um, my stamina definitely couldn't hit, take that hit. There we That's go. disgusting. Yeah, and that was two of them rolling badly. That's gross. Two of them were, you know, ones. To be fair, though, you got three nines. Yeah, as I was saying, the rest of yeah. them were pretty good. Yeah, so, two bad rolls and the rest of them were good. Oh my god. That is a 1, a 4, a 9, a 9, a 6, a 1, a 9. Dear god's sake. Yeah, I think you're going to fuck up a lot of things going forward. That is crazy. Crazy mm -hmm. good. I, I mean, in fairness, you know, I only I can only cast, you know, three level 3 spells a day. I can only do 21 d10 worth of damage a day. Mm. Let's just Actually, let's just say that again every day. Probably over a hundred damage a day with just those spells. <laughs> like, well done. Because like, you would probably get over a hundred damage for right. that spell. Yeah. It was like, what, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, it's because all the level three spells are really interesting. There's some really cool ones. But then you look at Mind Thrust. No, it's, it's fantastic. It's the one I would take it as a mystic. I, I I have to take like honestly I have to take it every time. That's disgusting. Yeah, it does because seem like a why would you not take this ability? Yeah. This is the thing. Like my choices are I've got I get two choices. I'm like okay. Is so there I a main spell? My... To be honest, mind thrust and is it? Oh, is it mind called? thrust and mystic cure. That's it, mystic cure. That was the other one. Yeah, that's like your your damage and your healy, and then those are the only things like mystics solely get them, Technomancers don't. So, it is a case of, we've given you good spells, please use them. Um, but, that guy's paced now. Maybe even, like, parts of his shoulders are gone. Um, is your mind trust? Uh, anything else, Zig, the monster? Um, Remember when you were like, I want head explode as a move? So you wanted to pick. I was literally thinking that. I was like, alright, you know, like, explode head yeah. is, um, what, it was, uh, I can't remember exactly what, what category it was. Like, Overlord or whatever um, it was called, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was obs obscene. I was like, I want explode head, but I feel like I've got explode head whilst also getting the interesting... Star Shaman sort of stuff, like yeah. Star Shaman stuff. Um, whereas that was just, the progression for the other class was more... You're doing this so you can get explode head. Yeah, it's awesome. Do it for her. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, it was a level eighteen ability called explode head. You just, Pretty if they have twenty hit points or fewer, the head explodes, instantly killing it. And then oh, so it's things uh, it's in finger of death. then things in ten foot take the debris as damage. Yeah, so it's I mean, finger it's, of it's death, grenade cool stuff, body. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Which is I mean, awesome. To be fair, like, some versions of Finger of Death do explicitly jib the target. Uh, but let's carry on. Uh, so that's Zig. You done? Um, that's my turn. Yes. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> Escape. What? Well, she's going to do the same thing she did last time. Let's face it. Um, against, I guess, this guy. Uh, Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, 
So a 19 to hit and then a 23 to hit, that, that, that'll work. So that is a 12 and a 13. This guy has a hole in his chest. Oof. She's full attacking, so she's attacking twice, so yeah. Why would she move, right, when she's got a, herself a laser rifle? Uh, <laughs> well then. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There are. I'm going to roll a d6. That sounds right. Interesting. Right. Okay. Play salt. Um. Okay. He is. Just gonna give that a go then. I guess that's bizarre, but yeah, why not? Faux pas. Faux pas. Faux pas. This is against the buggy. Yeah. I was going to make the buggy one, but I decided top to bottom, and the buggy just being last made sense since these are all actually nicely staggered. Um, but yeah. Where are we? It's AC, it's 14, so it hits hardness, so it's 3 damage again, isn't it? It was on 11, so it's down to 9. Is that right? No, that's not right. 8. 8 HP. Okay. I was confirming that, so I was on mute. That's okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, yeah, cool. And yeah, that's their turn done. Next, it's you. I move my combat tracking to him. Mm. Um, also, and sorry, like. That makes sense. He's gonna just have done that and moved closer uh, to the buggy, let's face it. But you can still have moved to combat track onto him. Assuming you're in he yes. was in range. Which is like a yeah. million billion feet or something. I mean yeah, I've got like hundred and twenty feet of range of the yeah. um, Also I think you just need to see him, right? Yeah. I don't know what combat tracking's range is, but I'm assuming it was just sight. Yes. And then I'm going to shoot him. Good, good. Go for it. Badly. Nah, he's obviously like kind of taking cover into this car enough thematically that it means you miss him. Maybe you're trying to take care not to destroy it. Yeah, maybe. I feel yeah. like you probably are concerned about not wrecking the car. Well, considering he's shot up your buggy twice, right? Um, yeah. Maybe you're thinking we need an upgrade. Uh, there is some annoyance as well. Mm. Yeah. So, like, if the camera's watching next five, like, what do we see? Is there a visible, like, gritting of teeth, like sneering? Yeah. High twitch. Mm. The small look over the shoulder to where he's just shot the buggy, then turn around and pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. I like the idea though that if it's like, see if it was like that kind of weird shoulder mounted laser, in my head I know it's not, but if it was still that, I like that you're looking at the buggy and like the little kind of gun is pointing where you're looking, but then it turns first and then you turn to shoot him, mm -hmm. and that's the visual I have in my head, even though yeah. you gave that suit to Alice, <laughs> that's uh -huh. still what is in my head, <laughs> um, and that's the animator's problem, so that's, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's not dissimilar to the vision I had. Yeah. Basically, the kind of predator scene. Mm -hmm. um, is that yourself moving? That's me. That's me done. Zora. I will stand here blocking away. You're muted. Yeah, just oh, let me double check oh, something oh, here real quick. I heard none of that, but sure, that you can double check whatever. Check something real quick. Mm -hmm. And he'll have his something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something, something complete. Right, okay, I'll get this one Um, boom, 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 boom. Ba -ba -da boom. Boom. Move action. Was it what constitutes as close range? What the fuck? Hmm. Right, what are we doing? That. 
Uh, moving now. Are we indeed? Are we cheeky seven five? I think knows a bit. Um, I don't know. Um, Are you gonna go bim bim? Boom boom! Everybody say whale. 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 Roman is whale. Oofed. Check that damage. <laughs> Why are you complaining about his 7d10 when you have 7d6? I mean, that's a whole d4 per dice less. <laughs> you, you just have to charge up to do it. He can only do it three times before sleeping. I don't know. I know, I cannot complain. I like the idea where you expressed that, that he'd literally fall asleep if he did it three <laughs> Three times falls asleep. Molly oh, Hayes. No. Yep. <laughs> Molly Hayes. Run away. Excellent. Uh, right. It's a reflex save, I guess. Or what's that going to be? 18, 17, isn't it? 17. 17 rounded down. Yeah, sure. Uh, right. Reflex save, isn't it? DC 17. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Oh, gets it. Gets it. So, so, yeah, he pretty much gets thing. torched. Takes, what, 17? Is it 17? More? 18? 19. 19. That's alright. That's, that's tasty. Yeah, it's still nice. Though. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, so I think as he's, like, dodging the um, big laser blast that comes from the artillery cannon, uh, he's, like, put his back up against the thing, uh, like the car thing, and uh, then all of a sudden just Zora has just ran and just all the, the spaces between the scales all just start to glow very very bright and just gets brighter and brighter and then just boom because <laughs> you have a fucking nuclear lizard with you have Godzilla <laughs> oh my god you have Godzilla they uh, say he's got to go um Gojira um Gojira so yeah that, that guy does not look okay anymore he looks less okay than he did when I zoomed in on him last time. <laughs> oh, he's so creepy, man. Hello. <laughs> he's so creepy. Can I come in and discuss oh, my, my lord and saviour? Death. Yeah, so... Do you have nah. anything for it now? Okay, okay. Fucking nuclear lizard. Uh, nuclear lizard. Well, I know what. She just felt thematic and just to scare the shit out of him. Oh, you're not a flash. Um, my flare just the it's mm. a quick action, so I just light up. I just light up to a dim light. Yeah. I'll click it. <laughs> <laughs> just to scare the shit. Like an afterglow effect. That's yeah. that's it's yeah. cute. That's a nice little idea, actually. I like that. Uh, can you? I don't think you can. Yeah, can it's you? a swift it thing. Oh, it's oh a no, wait, it's a move action. My bad. My bad. Yeah. I, I'm forgetting. I thought it was a swift to shed, and then well, I moved. And, no, I got it mixed up. Yeah. Oh well, but it's fine. I'll just sneer him instead. I feel like you were bright enough. You were bright enough. Uh, Shine, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> yeah. Bright like a diamond. Do we ever go through for a session where we don't reference 20 songs? Is that... <laughs> like, I feel I like, like there, there's a mini game <laughs> to this, right? Who's the diamond? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I, I feel like we need, like, bingo cards or something. <laughs> like a diamond in the sky. Would it be genre, though? Um, bingo genre for the music? Bingo... John <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what enemy was talking about. It's your go. That's, that's what we're good. talking about. That's good. That's what I like to hear. Now, you may have noticed me surreptitiously measuring. I did. Uh, and that was purely to check that I wasn't going to accidentally shoot Cap. Um, I love that everybody's just saying Cap now. I, I really enjoy this. I am down. It, it works for my character. Um, I am down. I am prone. I am going to take my shot. Aiming. And getting the bonus range. Mm -hmm. uh, the one who's still alive. <laughs> Did I hear? Oh, you stealing my. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he survived your assault. <laughs> I don't get annoyed about that. I mean, Did he survive mine? Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think he does. Right, so it doesn't I doubt he's got cover, even though he's against the thing because it's the angle. Yeah, that that uh, that's enough, Boyle. That's enough. Whoop! Wah! Just get splatted against the uh, 
the mm, car. I guess. Um, let me just put some splatted against the car. Or, oh, that's the car. Splatted against the car. Yep. <laughs> yep. The head gets off it. Just lumps down to the ground. Yeah. So. Well done. That's pretty surgical, lad. I mean, Zig yeah. got took a bit, a quite a bit what of What happened was, ah, strangers, irradiate. So, if this yeah. was Star Wars, we know Zig is Sith. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, all good, but well, probably Sith. In Zig's defence, what what happened was they melted. Lyco you melted. Hurriedly. No, Lyco hurriedly, hurriedly rushed out the car and I was like, oh shit, right, we shit's stopped. going down, so <laughs> run outside. You stopped and the car, emo you chose to stop it to bump into s -Kate. you then step out of the car, melt people, and then blow up one guy's <sighs> head. <laughs> what did other people do? They shot back at people that shot at them. You melted people. Anyway, I'm not just zig bashing. That was a. I don't know. I feel like maybe you just want to talk about this as a party minus zig. Um, when you are gonna broach the zig, you're a crazy ass nuclear weapon. <laughs> conversation. Because I think it's hard to miss when zig points his hand at somebody and their head and shoulders will rip away. It's, it's definitely going to be an interesting topic for conversation. Yeah, remember, um, like, lovable Zig used to touch you, you saw the sun in various loving ways. Now, now Zig has killed Alice with a touch. By proxy, that led to killing Nix-5. That has now led to killing a good chunk of these guys. Wow. We did work, too. You d definitely did, yeah. Definitely did. You got the last hit, which was nice. Nice way to round it up. I mean, I, I, I shot twice and hit both times, which mm -hmm. is unusual for my fucking sniper rifle. I, had, I got hit twice with my gun. It was gun. obviously was performance so anxiety, wasn't it, on your gun's part, because it was up against the same gun. So it had to show up. Yes, clearly. Uh, <laughs> it was nice, though. I, 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 I got to do a nice, clean... I'm just going to get out of the way and snipe. Mm. Can I ask, though, it what's everybody doing now that like, they, they all seem to be dead? Standing up. I've got a... S Probably just stand at the water bodies. Give me, give me a wee look see, you know. We search, we search the shirt, see what's happening. Zig would probably run to the nearest friendly face he can find. Uh, is it the one against the bonnet that you smacked off this wow. housing? Wow. Or ah, oh, ah, uh, ow! <laughs> uh, don't make me feel bad about this, Heath, right? Like, honestly, I can't feel bad about it. I can't spend this whole game feeling bad about everything. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Callum. It's fine. <laughs> you don't you have to We can metagame your emotions. It's okay. I would run back to the car. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you just going to sit on the car, or do you want to go in the car? Um, it depends. You know, I'd probably go in the car, sit down, and have that sort of <laughs> you know, that moment where you go from autopilot in a stressful situation, and then everything just calms down, and then you have that oh shit. Yeah, you just sit and scream for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, he runs back into the car. He's hugging his knees and just like, just trying to calm himself down. Hmm. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. What about? Zora, what's Zora up to? Um, yeah, probably just be rummaging a bit through the bodies, inspecting this vehicle, thinking hmm, maybe we should actually just take one of these since it's not. Uh, what your old perception? Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Well, that's bad. No. So, these guys in front of you, there are three, three rifles, three like tactical sure and eye rifles. Um, they probably have a D4 of ammo left each. That's probably what they have. Um, and then, yeah, that's what you find in them. 
What about the vehicle? Vehicles look in working order. I mean, going green in any way. It's really up to you if you want to go in. I mean, you know which ones were irradiated as per the the meta game, right? But you don't necessarily know that that happened. This, this true. The radiation isn't uh, specifically visible, so. It's very true. Zig just walked uh, out, put his hand up, and people melted inside. So yeah, I don't know how much I can answer about that. You don't have radiation sense, so you don't have a Geiger counter, I imagine. Hmm. Yeah. It's true. But I mean, they did like drive up in these things. They're probably still running. So okay. yeah. Beyond that, no, you Maybe don't. We you wouldn't notice any like irradiation or radiation scorching with your ten or anything. Do you mean you wouldn't notice anything like that? So. No, no, no. I'd probably just shout over. Oh, Maybe we should take one of these. Or two. Possibly three. <laughs> um, if Nix is right, replying, so Nix is muted. Oh, pardon? If you were replying, so, I didn't know if you were or not, because I know you'd moved up closer. No, I was just having a look. Oh, I was right. I was gonna have moved to Nick there, but he's he's moved on. Uh, yeah. Anyone Um Because I would want to follow him, so I will inquire. Um, how's the damage looking on our buggy? <laughs> he says uncertainly. Was the buggy still running? Roll a d20 and don't get a 1. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still mm. running. Lucky number 13. Mm -hmm. Ah, next 13. <laughs> Quick, kill me a bunch yep. more times. <laughs> uh, uh, it still seems functional. Yeah. As functional as it's going to be. Um. We should at least uh, scavenge these. I'll give it a once over before we set off again. Might be worth taking one. Um, how are you for driving? Ah, uh, I prefer not to, but I can do it. I mean, <laughs> I was more of a shotgun. Man. Provided there's no <laughs> third, <laughs> provided there's no sharp turns, I have a whole plus two. Is that what Zora says, Shai? No. <laughs> I was <laughs> just thinking aloud. <laughs> they look pretty simple. I should be able to drive. Pretty sure if I turn my hand to it, I can manage them. Yeah. Um, if you want, we can try and maybe buy ourselves some time with pieces from these if we don't think they're usable or whatever. But I'm kind of thinking we just steal one. Do they look in decent enough working order? Right. Uh, they're all running. Um, mm -hmm. They're all two seaters, two seater kind of like big buggy things. So like mm -hmm. a less, yours is like a four seater, um, and you've yep. obviously bulked it up a bit with a trailer, and so yours looks a bit more like a kind of like a tractor now, I guess. But these things are just like, you what you imagine, a Jurassic Park security to turn up in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good example. There you go. So these look a bit quicker as well. Um, mm, yeah. I mean, they're not they're, they're not trailing, right? So, yeah, mm. they might be faster. They just they're in no way like shielded any better, from what you can tell, because yeah. And uh, that is a concern. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty. So I think you just hear over your comms, um, like a channel flooding effect, and it's just a uh, SK saying, "What's the hold up? Let's get moving." We're considering making ourselves more comfortable here. No, in here. <laughs> do you like? 
Just claim in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Claim in, leave. And then <laughs> she just says, uh, we don't have time for this. And then she... Rip the engine. And she actually just zooms away. Whoop. So she starts to move off. Yup, yup, yup. Six. Shit. How's that working? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if Zig would um, respond. <laughs> have just like, just like as soon as this thing left, gone for it, or if he's kind of zonked from being a murder machine. Um, mm. Well, all right. Let's put it this way: How much of it was instinct on Zig's part, and how much of it was Zig's intent, right? Because actively I think casting a lot of it a radio, was just yeah, because yeah, cause it's like it's quite a big, a big spell. Like, you you went big. You didn't go home. You went big. Um, no. Yeah. So yeah, like, what is going through Zig? Is it just oh god, I'm still alive and that's good, or is it this isn't what like my teachings were? Um, or th- I think there's there's a little bit of combination of um, he's kind of awe stricken by the amount of like just raw power that he felt, mm. um, yeah. versus also that that he can, I think I think he kind of feels like he's kind of lost control a little bit, um, yeah. because you know it was. It was awful awful lot of terrendousness mm-hmm. to bestow upon another th- living being mm-hmm. um you know having someone's head and shoulders yeah detach uh, not sponsored toes. by um <laughs> yep nope, not, not a sponsored stream just just um you know evaporated upon yeah, so I, I feel like Zig's probably kind of sort of internalized at this point. Mm. So um, do you even respond then to next kind of, five? I think it's that, um, which is actually quite, you know, realistic for Callum, like ha- half of his um, his sense has that sort of like underwatery feel mm. <laughs> um, when he hears, hears uh, Nyx come through the, I assume comms that happens to be within the buggy. Yeah, buggy's a comms. Question mark. Mm-hmm. Always question mark, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just because I, I do not have personal comms. I know, buggy's um, a comms, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't think he'd, he'd um, respond, or like at least respond straight away. Um perhaps escape driving off would snap him into it, but I'm not 100% convinced. Yeah, because you know? keep in mind, you would have heard her on the comms as well, because she flooded the entire comms channels. Um, yeah. To be like, what are you doing? Let's move out. Bam. Oh, she, <laughs> I'm getting comfy in here! And she drove off. <laughs> um, on her cool light bike. So... Um, do you know what? I think, I think it would be one of those things, um, I don't know if you've you've had this where you know where you're kind of in that sort of trance and then you're like as soon as your name is uh, mentioned yeah. you kind of snap back to reality yeah you're in the blurry space and then somebody goes hello and you go, oh yeah what <laughs> yeah so um i think i think that's that's where we'd be where we'd be at so if if, if nick said hey zig by the way blah I think he did. He said six. Mm-hmm. And then, and then what's six reply over the radio? Um, I think he would just kind of be like flustered, like ah, oh, um, uh, uh, and then, you know, check Wait. to make sure yeah. the buggy's still running. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think he turned it off. And I think then he just say, talked to um, it. yeah, and then they say, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, good, good to go. Do I actually think you can turn the buggy off? You've just jammed batteries into it, so yeah, it's on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just not currently moving forward. That's all. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you get that response back from Zig. Sad up then. Sorry about the, 
the long-winded way of getting there. But... <laughs> I'll already be running back to the bucky because of the length of time he took to speak is concerning to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, the... Right, so you're jumping back in, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Captain. I'm not even looting the corpses. <laughs> Why is it? Sorry. What? Yeah, so Callum, that's what you yeah. described, what he just did. Yes. <laughs> so we're actually like, breaking up. What we're saying? Yeah. What do, Captain? Uh, very well, if he's not replied, or just has it. Um. <laughs> so, let's rewind. Nix5 replied to SK. SK drove off. Nix5 said to Zig, Hey Zig, what's happening? And he went, it's fine. Next is like, Captain. <laughs> okay, I would just probably just jump in the car that's closest to me then, because this is closest to me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, just launch it lightly. Next is dope in it. This car looks cosy. Uh, let's go. Mm. Follow the bad woman. Is that again, sorry? We are... the next. Next. I said I'll rev the engine and spin it around. Yeah, cool. Uh, I guess I'll do that. Uh, yes. Oh. Oop. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm moving the blood. The blood's moved. There we go. Bye, blood. <laughs> I was pretty nasty looking to the last. Can you give me a piloting check, please, Nix? Yeah. How hard can this be? How hard can it be? Zig. Easy. Yarp. Piloting. Conscious piloting. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> References to the Colin degree. I don't see what I did wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. I washed my hands with this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well done. Well played. <laughs> uh, right. So, got ourselves a wee convoy again. And, yeah, we drive off into the uh, the horrible, uncomfortable sun forever. And we end Some the West session the there. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those kind of like, <laughs> this is one of these asides where the movie opens, it's probably black and white, everything's super saturated, bright, bright, harsh lighting, and then you step out of the car, and then all the gunfire starts happening, people's like faces explode. Mostly it's just the sound effects we hear instead of the music. And as soon as the last body hits the ground, we just hear the revving of the engine, escape zooms away, the music kicks in, wow. Wow, wow, and then everybody starts driving away in the convoy, and the credits play with the music as everybody's driving away. There we go. There was the entire thing summarized. <laughs> Not bad. Um, oh, run oh, ourselves back oh, to oh, there. Oh, oh. Uh, I'll get rid of the turn oh, order, oh, oh. and I'll adjust the, the main screen so we get that nice view. I had looked for an animated sandstorm effect to put over the entire map, but sadly I couldn't find any. Because uh, that would look cool as fuck. That would uh, have been sweet, considering we fixed our uh, animation problem. <laughs> Indeed. I say we, you did. Uh, no, I'm happy to promote every day to, to we. Um, right, what are we calling it? <laughs> fuck. Uh, my idea, and I think it kind of still applies, keeping with the uh, sunny side up theme. Um, over easy? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing and horrendous at the same time. I like it. Con I like it. Convoy well. conflict is what I'm going to put in. That's my. Oh, Brian! You know well, I'm a sucker for alliteration. Me too, right? I love alliteration. So convoy conflict because you bet your convoy met another convoy, thus there was a bigger convoy, and then you did a wee bit of a spit. Ba -ba. Uh, you could say tete-a-tete, -tete if you really wanted to be uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> rat a tat tat. Rat -a -tat. <laughs> oh, rat a tat. That would be so good. Uh. <laughs> no, rat a tat splat. Rat a tat splat. <laughs> oh, no. no. Yeah. Splat. Fucking Please. hell. Nah, we can't have it just like that. We can't have it just that. That would be amazing. That would be so good, man. Rat a tat splat. That's that so disgusting. Um. <laughs> Uh, every single placebo song ever, I guess, if we're going <laughs> for everything Callum did to people. Um, I don't know. What do you like? I don't know, I didn't give anyone meds. <laughs> and if her reds, mm -hmm. alright, yeah. Um, How Da Rude is still another suggestion of mine, quite frankly, um, for Sandstorm. Um, yeah, any of those? Store. <laughs> Anything's gone for Desert Storm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't want that. We, we, we don't. We don't want suits. I <laughs> hate <Seriously>. that. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Like in your chest cavity when your head and shoulders get ripped off. Um, Itchy trigger finger. Yeah. Um, Itchy yeah. radiation finger. <laughs> That's so gross. A radiation, no breathing. Uh, <laughs> the radiant uh. zig, the radiation zig. Um, <laughs> right, <laughs> what, what are we picking? What are we, what are we, what are we voting on? What's, what's everybody's favourite? Irradiate supreme. That's all. Oh, that'll be that'll be your end game, right? Irradiate the supreme. <laughs> Um Oh no <laughs> Sorry, um Thank Yeah, what's the thoughts guys? Ah. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. Right, so he's drove in, he's in I horrible really liked, sun conditions. Um, over easy to be <laughs> As did I. Um, yeah. I mean that's uh, we we have multiple people liking it. Over easy one word. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> it's done. It's done. I'm happy with that. Session 30, over easy. Uh, session 30 ends. Right, so before we break up the party, uh, goals. I think it's still on. Right, Lyco, yours is still ongoing, I believe, because these guys yes, didn't seem is. to prove a useful source of Barai information. No, they did not. I like that they did it mid shot as you're like. A behind the buggy, reloading your sniper rifle. Uh, gentlemen, do you know anything about the Barai condition? <laughs> no? <laughs> Leans over. Gun. Bang. I didn't think so. <laughs> then you're of no we use to me. <laughs> Damn it. You might have lived. <laughs> bang. Uh, right, so we'll leave that one going. Zig. Uh, hmm. I don't see become potential campaign villain. Uh, so... No, we're, we're good. Reconcile yeah. with next seek forgiveness. Well, you're doing a lot of seeking. Find oneself, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Shine brighter than supreme. Become the supremacist is actually becoming more I mean, of an active goal. As your second, yeah. Definitely getting closer. Um, mm. uh, Zora. Um, All I'm saying is that's some worrying phrasing. Yeah. Yeah. And then Zora, yours are still ongoing. Yep. Yeah. And. Next five. Yes. Let's see. The buggy is still together. Yeah. And I've got two buggies. I feel like, yeah. I feel like your goal needs reworded. I feel like, mm -hmm. keep the buggy together so party doesn't die. Like, there's no end condition until all the party actively die and then you fail it, right? So, yeah. is there like There's a no until you like so keep the buggy together so the party can reach you know S Gates location or whatever? What did we go for? What did we go for? Oh. I had it. Is it? Okay. I think it's because I was clicked into it. Yep. Yeah, that works for me. Yep. <laughs> has sufficient end conditions. Who is the? Is it the party? Yes. <laughs> and, or uh, we die of natural causes or specifically the 
What did you want? <laughs> then, I feel like I, I mean, I don't think I can die of natural causes. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll keep that going then. Right, that's not bad. Yep. Um, good, good. Is anyone wanting to change their goal at the moment? Mm, nope. Zig, Lyco? Nope. That's a mm. nope from me, dog. Good, good, good. Uh, in yeah, that case, then. I'm, I'm good. You good? You good? You sure you're good? Yeah. You're maybe chaotic no, neutral at the I'm, moment. I'm not good. But goal wise, we're, we're alright. <laughs> Your rolls were good, though. Um, <laughs> absolute annihilation beast. Right, in that case then, let us start with Alex to give us a wee bit yes. of a rundown, since I never did that. Uh, Rat Boy is terrifying. Right! Uh, <laughs> um, let's start into question mm. know, just how deliberate his murder of Alice was. Right, because um, I think that's a good point, right? Let's talk about that now. You, obviously, you and your new buddy, S. Kate, were up the front. Also, I actually forgot to do a move she can do on her turn to help you out, and it was going to be so goddamn awesome, and I was very gutted I forgot about it. Um, she's got a move called Upgrade, yeah, which is, um, as you probably know, great. Um, I'll just quickly read out exactly what it does, because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, but while I'm doing that, you carry on. Um... I don't know. It's kind of good to see all the combat boys kind of shining through. Put some good moves in there. Yeah, it was nice to have you all in one combat together, actually. Like, for me, that was nice. Yes. Um, in the it's right surprising. timeline, as well. Mm. Um, I don't even know how rare that has actually been. Yeah. Which is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely has been combat. I think that was the one. So it was mostly just a session of one scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was pretty much just that you just rolled into the scene. Uh, there was a bit of chatting between some people in the sense of nobody actually spoke to anyone. There was some spider sense or some space sense mm -hmm. um, tingling, which was quite cool. Um, yeah, I did enjoy the awkward silence amongst everyone. Yeah, but I, I like that because again, it isn't like a best buds adventure team, right? These aren't mm -hmm. a best buds. Right? In fact, the only friendly people that would have been chatting are two boys in the front seat that aren't currently talking. They're not not talking, they're just not talking. Um, Things are just awkward. Yeah. And there's other priorities. Yeah, and I think as well, like, you had the oh god, what did Zig do to Alice moment as briefly as like Nix5 would have given attention to it, right? Because yeah. then you had your own mini-adventure. Um, because Zig going on the let's go get Shakos mission is a really interesting choice narratively when you look at Zig wanted away from you in theory, but at the same time Zig could attempt to help someone. You know, mm -hmm. um, I like the kind of psychology of that versus you being like I don't have to deal with Zig right now, so I will deal with Alice right now. Oh God, Alice has just become a complicated problem where I think I'm dead now. Existentialism, mm -hmm. and then you came back and you're different and things are different and you care about that at the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I was talking about this the other day, just kind of been reflecting on like playing in other games or watching other people play, mm -hmm. or you see online. Um, is one thing I really appreciate appreciate in this group is the ability to uh, turn inaction, silence, or not doing something into an RP moment. Yeah. Um, so I think that's like a lot of people just stay quiet when their character's not doing anything. It's yeah. for me. It's uh, something I've seen in a lot of games, um, and it was actually advice I gave when I ran my thirteenth age game. Um, some of which of the players here were present. Mm. One of my biggest things was, if you're choosing to not do something in a scene, tell the group you aren't doing something. Describe yeah. you're scuffing your feet in the sand while they all talk about the wizard stuff, and you're clutching your axe looking for a fight because you're the barbarian and you don't understand wizard stuff, right? That's mm. That's a cool in addition. It also means that if somebody else isn't that interested in the conversation with the wizard or whatever, they might be able to then hang back and then divide the scene between wizard convo and what are we going to talk about? New buddy, building character, etc. And to me, that's a huge part of the game, right? Like having you guys speak to each other in character is a huge yeah. deal for me um, because you are, air quote, these people. So it is, it's good for that. Also, I found that move, by the way. Upgrade is a standard action. 
touch a willing ally who's wielding a technological weapon or wearing technological armor, and you get a plus one uh, divine bonus to attack rolls or its AC, the target's choice. Um, that would be handy because I've also got something that lets me upgrade by a, with a plus two enhancement bonus nice. to a weapon or armor. Awesome. So, yeah, we could have got some nonsense. Yeah. Uh, well, if something else happens, remind me she can do that. Um, yeah. Because. Uh, we'll turn it into the bodyguard. Yeah, and I might actually just forget. But it, the very fact that you both loot competent at the front, it's enough for her to go, you're worthy of this, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. You're worthy of me helping you because you missed once as well. Because you did a good hit and you missed, and then it's like, yeah, I'll fix that. She could have done that kind of narrative thing. It'd have been cool, but I forgot it didn't matter. Um, anything else you want to add? Nope, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, who, who are we going to go for next? I'll go for Zig next. Callum. I'm <laughs> kind of really liking this, this sort of transition mm. period for Zig. Um... <clears throat> Like especially like, mechanically, it can it kind of just fits narratively mm -hmm. for some very nice serendipitous reason. But um, shout out to Serendipity Jones wherever in the galaxy you are. Yes. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Um, Miss Jones. My legs too. Um, <laughs> what? My legs give out to you. It's an amazing phrase. <laughs> But no, the, it, it, it's it's really interesting. Like with this this sort of like you know obviously thing level seven, well six for for a lot of the, the spells and stuff. Um, it's kind of this 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 newfound like level of uncontrollable power, mm. combined with the fact that he's kind of isolating himself from the, the people he was closest to. Mm -hmm earlier so it's this really kind of like cool narrative moment that's also come out of this sort of mechanical progression for Zig which I'm, I'm kind of really enjoying. I like to call it the silhouette period in Zig's life because Zig has become darker right and yeah. the sun was everything to you and but now you've turned your back on it and it's like yeah, the Radiant and Supreme isn't all I thought he was um, you know space is scary and full of horrible things and I don't know why um, I've broken a person that seemed to come back different and I don't get it um, you know your powers are maybe and it was a power you used all the time right your mind link so yes. like it was a comfort or a a trusted known that did something you definitely it was, it was a fallback at that mm. point it was like oh I, I can't do this is fine I'll just do the thing Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It is it is that sort of like little semi growing up period, but also this kind of like this important period where it can go one of two ways. Yeah, and I like it because you're kind of. It's going to be interesting to see what the rest of the party do, like the characters in the party, like do if they. Cause I mean, Lyco is a pragmatist, and and I don't yeah. necessarily see him seeing this as a bad thing on the surface. Right, a useful weapon like a reliable gun, versus yes. like maybe somebody that looks a tiny bit deeper, like say Zora, right, who would be looking at us going, "But you're the small one that fixes people. You're not the one that magically rips them apart or melts them. Like mm. your med kit, not gun." Um, I don't know. That's a lot. Of, I don't know. Though, like, yeah, like as I said, he would probably be like, "You go, med kid. Well, think of the Obsidian Star. <laughs> like you are surrounded by people with crazy, powerful, gravity rending powers, right? So, yeah, I'll probably be like, uh, I don't know. I've probably been like behind them doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, it's a weird one. Like, yeah, I'd be interested to see what these guys like come up with in terms of like everybody's a viewpoint because. I don't know what Nix 5 would do either, because I don't know if Nix 5 is dedicating any processing power to Zig at the moment. <laughs> like, you're kind <laughs> of task managing. Yeah. Box. yeah, like, you've got tabs open, and Zig's maybe just a tab that's at the back at the moment. Um, whereas, yeah, one of the survive. 500 are that I have. Yeah, and one of them's playing music. Um, but yeah. And the radiating things. Yeah, right. Um, sorry, carry on, uh, Zig. Um, 
I mean, other than that, I, I really enjoyed, you know, playing around with some hasty damage. Oh. Yeah, it was. It's, it's nice to have jumped up two levels, isn't it? Like, you feel it. Yeah, um, there's there's like a real difference there, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's kind of the 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 start of all the the interesting stuff. I mean, part of me kind of wishes I took some of the the really cool. There's loads of really cool level three spells mm -hmm. that you can take, but then at the same time, you're like, well, mind thrust, yeah. It's difficult. Mind thrust. It is. It's difficult not to take it because it is so good. Um, now, as I said, I'm liking the silhouette arc of Zig just now. It's um, it's going to be super interesting to see how that changes the dynamic of the party. Because at first it was kind of keep Zig safe, and now Zig is the thing you might want to be kept safe from. Mm. Finally, going to get my dark party member arc. That right. I've been for. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be Shakos and our drug addiction. It's going to have to be, uh, you know, Zig and his magic addiction. I guess. Yeah. That that works perfectly. Um. Yeah. Dark Ziggo. Um. No. Since you spoke. Uh, since you've been gone. <laughs> Uh, Nico, gone. if you could take it away. Yeah, go for uh, it. We know we know Colin's going to take the longest, so. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed Snapey Boy, Shooty Boy, Rat Tat Splat. <laughs> Rat Tat Splat uh, is still my favourite. <laughs> uh, it was always fun. I had to manage to land my gun twice in one <laughs> fight. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Every day actually did really well in combat, I'll be honest. Every day. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It was a very surgical, surgical fight. Mm. Uh, I enjoyed. Yeah, just Zig's recollection of the events as well. Mm. Yeah. Ratatat splat, indeed. Um, Ratatat splat. But that's the thing, like. But if I got kind of. I go for it. Go for it. Oh, I mean, if, I, was, I, was, I think that pretty much covers. Like, well, what do you think? What's fun fight? What do you think is coming up for um, the party dynamic then, right? So let's get Zora's hot take. Let's get Cap. Cap's hot take on it. What are we thinking? Oh, uh, like in I'm a hypothetical, right? You don't I need to tell us exactly what Zora's going to say, but just how you're going to play yeah. out Zora in the terms of like the dynamic. Is this a concern of Zora's, or is is this not something that would typically concern Zora? I mean, if it was brought up, you might think start thinking about it. Because keep in mind, this is like the equivalent of Emlyn just going and just exploding people's bodies, right? It is like the equivalent. So, I don't know if it's just because we know Zig mechanically is a mystic and it's a mystic spell. If you strip that away and think, the small rat that used to heal people now makes people's bodies explode. Um, or melts them. Eh? I know the melting part doesn't really affect you as much because you literally do it every combat, but yeah, yeah, like I mean, because you were right next to Zig when Zig did the mind thrust to the guy who lost his head and shoulders, and all that was left was like a weird. Everybody know what the Borg Queen looks like when she's not in her body. Yeah, it's weird, spiny, spiny, no shoulders, mm. head yeah, lady. But I mean, like the body part that's left over is a uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I had in mind. That creepy, creepy, creepy thing. Uh, but yeah, so, like, any concerns from Captain Zora? I mean, I feel like if it was actually brought by the crew, it would maybe like start thinking about it. But At the, like, I guess I mean, then that's, that's, that's kind of like Vesk upbringing almost. I feel like I would feel like yeah, life is brutal. Yeah. Seed. Like you go, girl. I was gonna say, yeah, that's that's <laughs> the thing you can do. If you can do that. That's your thing that you do. Yeah, there yeah, we go. There's I a good like like for mean, it. Obviously, if it was brought up, we'd maybe think, oh, that's not how things are done here, sort of thing. Mm. Like, maybe. But at the moment, it'd probably just be like, thumbs up. Yeah, okay. No, that's, that's good to know. Anything else you want to add? No, no, that's probably better. And last but not least, and definitely like who? Colin. Yes, Lee. Mm. Um. Okay, so yeah, so obviously combat heavy, which I mm -hmm. enjoy. Um, 
we've talked about the zig aspect quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned, and I think it's interesting that uh, he is a pragmatist, Lyco. That is uh, a very much someone inclined to go, oh, that's good to have on my side. Um, it's interesting, actually. It seems to be that my proper characters, I mean, I played some one shot stuff and I had a short lived um, pseudo paladin. But my characters do tend to be pragmatists thus far. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, um, Lyco very much is, and he's quite quite pleased with the uh, the current situation with with um, with Zig. That he's sort of he's flexing his muscles, he's learning to use his powers. It's a way for him to survive longer, right? My team is stronger. That's mm -hmm. good. Um, he also is not someone who's terribly bothered about seeing that sort of thing. To like, be fair, I have horrible all... violence. Yeah, seen a lot of that. Yeah, you have worked for a year for a bone sage. It probably wasn't yeah. pretty the whole year. And you know, he's 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 been police. He's been mm -hmm. you know he's someone who's seen uh, some pretty nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he's pretty on. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm bothered by that. It is interesting that like, he is sort of quietly watching and um, observing at the moment because of the sort of potential tensions between other party members that so you, you mentioned about. You know what? What is uh, what's next? Five thinking? Is he thinking at all of uh, Zeg, or does he put him sort of out of mind? And I think that's something that Lyco is keenly watching for. Mm. Um. And you, you sort of you mentioned like how we did stuff with silence. I think I want to make a point that, yeah, like while you could describe what Lyco was doing in the Carl Johnny as sitting in silence, that kind of isn't the salient point. Like, yeah, that's true. He is doing that, but he's looking. He's keeping active. He is trying to, you know, mm -hmm. keep his eye out for danger or, or opportunity. You know, it, it's not just. Uh, I don't have anything I particularly need to achieve with conversation at the moment, ergo I don't speak. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, it is like a it's something the character is doing, even if it is nothing, it's making something that's very passive into something that's a little bit more active um, because that allows you to express like, obviously what you don't do matters as much as what you do, but mm -hmm. there are ways and means to express not doing something um, As so we yeah, discussed that, earlier that yeah, good. like that's it is something that um, I remember back, as I said, in the Thirteenth Age game. It was it was deliberately just a couple of scenes that come up ones with like uh, Craig's Kestra, um, like when he was just like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't be doing anything. I'd be lying here, kind of broken. And it's like, well, describe the, are your eyes gone? Do they look like a thousand yard stare? Or like your hands by your sides, like uh, palm up, just like not moving? Are your is your breathing really shallow, or is it really fast? In fact. Are your eyes searching the ground really fast, but not actually looking at anything? There's loads of ways to describe doing nothing, right? Because at no point are you ever generally doing nothing. But like, there's even yeah. something like, oh, I'm sitting just twiddling my hair, looking awkward and out of place, is enough for another character to go, I'll go and interact with them. You might not, but it's a chance, or a character says, I will notice you're doing this, but to deliberately leave you to it, you know? Yes. Yeah. Like there's options for that, and I think that's that's the part that starts to help other people realize this is a great plateau for people to be on, and actually start that as a normal thing. And this group took to it pretty quickly, um, but I think it's just also because well, two of you came from previous well, th sorry, three of you came from previous role plays with me and my style, um, and then obviously technically four if you include Alex, because Alex, I mean, you have role played together. It's just Olka that mm -hmm. was brand new to me. Um, obviously I wasn't running that game uh, but yeah it's it is such a good technique it's micro descriptions of things been like it, like look at how Edgar everything Edgar did you probably had a decent visual of him because of the way he smoked and the way he moved his hands or the way he stood with his like you know except or Alice with her weird twitches and finger guns and winks and whatnot all those tiny little things um, or her just sitting at the dinner table with her hand up waiting you know not actually really doing anything, right? But being involved in the scene for people, because you could just have ignored her and kept talking. But yeah, it's it's a good technique. Um, I urge anyone to do it, quite frankly, because it keeps you in the game. 
instead of just going, oh, I had nothing to do this scene, Mike. No, but you know the difference is you did nothing this scene. It's a, there's a difference. It's not that you had nothing to do. You could have made something for you to do. Um, and it's another tip for not being bored in a session, right? If you think that you're, you've got nothing to do in a session, involve yourself. Do something. Do like add a new aspect to your character if need be. If it is a case of my character wouldn't do this, it's like, well, would you then oppose it? Is that something you would do? Would you maybe tut and leave the room? And thus somebody could follow you out to have a conversation about the illegal gambling that's going inside the room, you know. Make it a thing. Yeah. Um, it's the sort of difference between doing nothing and actively doing nothing. Yeah, there's RPing that you're doing nothing, and then there's just sitting quiet as a person playing the game. Because then you're yeah. not actually playing the game, right? You're just sat back doing nothing. Um, same for attention spans and obviously distractions and whatnot. It is a case of stay focused in the game, be involved. And that's it. Like it's easy to do. It just involves putting yourself into the scene. Um, and sometimes, if you know you don't fit, you t you you state that right. You say, "My character does not care about this scene for the X, Y, and Z." Or I would have nothing to do in this scene for X, Y, and Z. So I will step outside. I'll slam the door or whatever. You do whatever it is. Basically, it is literally attention seeking. But you RP that into a story so people can choose to ignore you or engage. Thus, generating more story. Uh, Ethnos, you know that? Like, oh, Colin? Colin uh, no, not, not, not really. Um, I think, I think. Um, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think, I don't think I necessarily have much more to add. It was a pretty standard, session, standard yeah. low RP session. Yeah, <laughs> it was more mechanical. Uh, Good job. We did our traditional looking up rules. Yep. <laughs> well, it was more but just no, a case no, of no, it was more a case of let's look at how disgustingly powerful Zigna is. It was um, also like as um, who was saying? Who just said that? Sorry, I think it was Nico. I think it was a uh, the captain was saying. You know, it was a very surgical. Was that what you said? Mm, Combat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Alex it was. and yeah. Nico both said it. Yeah. Well. Exactly. Uh, in that case, I I very much agree because it mm. was a case of like we prioritise targets quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Like, on on both occasions, I was like right here. The second occasion, there, and choice. just divided up yeah. target groups as well, right? Yeah, it was it was nice. It flew together well, and I'm trying to do a bit more. I hope it's come across because I am trying to be more active in like my combat decisions. Like, mm -hmm. say. I want to do this. Does anyone think that's a stupid idea? Mm -hmm. uh, because I know I have a blind spot, like for certain rules, and I know mm -hmm. that I'm not a perfect strategist, right? I'm gonna instinctively go, oh, "I want to shoot that guy," yeah. and sometimes I'll go with it, uh, and it's the wrong choice, and maybe someone else notices and didn't want to see. It's like when I shot Zig, like, and Zig's like, "Did you take away cut like the fact that I'm prone?" You know, I'm like, yeah. "No, I didn't actually." You're right, that misses. Um, yeah. just so I'd, I'd encourage people, and I'm trying to, as I say, do it myself, and in a way that that encourages people to interject, like to 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 do more mm. strategic and more tactical combat, because I think that shows just how nicely. Mm. Obviously, we have some NPC help, um, but again, it does show just how nicely we can clean up. And I think as well, if like we're able to coordinate going forward as well, given how much time we are prone to losing. To rules, I think I'm gonna just be making a new kind of soft rule here, where see if you don't know it. I'm moving on. Um, on the turn order, especially if we're in combat, it's different if you're using mm. a thing out of combat and there's a bit of narrative space or whatever. I don't mind if there's a oh, let me just look up this one part of the spell I know every intricacy to. But see when it comes to something like as complex as a radiate was. And I don't mean this against you, Zig. I think it's a great spell, and I want you to keep it because it's it makes perfect sense for Zig. But see the knowing no steps mm. of how it works. Learning all of that took up so much time, and I still don't really know how that worked, quite frankly. Um, I I still don't know how that worked. Yeah. So I think um, if you're going to be taking like spells and abilities, I just mean like yeah, spells and abilities. Like I just want everybody to learn them. So that if you're going to use them, know them. And I don't mind if you need to take a two, like two, two seconds or whatever to look it up and go, right, let me just have the text in front of me. Quickly scan it and then remind yourself how it works. That's fine. I don't want mm -hmm. you to need to learn how it works on the session night. No, that's, that's, I think that's fair. Because um, I just don't want to waste really yeah, just that much time. Because that could have been wrapped up and we could have did a, like the last half being RP or whatever. Um, 
But that's fine. I don't mind again learning on as we go because it's not like we're doing this for any specific time frame or whatever. I just think we need to be tighter on stuff like that because it is that was one person of five that soaked up a lot of the that time. So for me, again, soft rule. Don't mind if we need to check rules or whatnot because I'd rather we all learn stuff as we go. We're all going to try and throw more combat in just as we get more practice at it. Blah blah blah. But yeah, if you're taking a spell take the time to learn the spell um, and yeah. also skills etc like you all have wonderful abilities um, and obviously in me and Colin's case when we keep reading the trick attack and learn new things about it um, yeah, or um, new interpretations I feel pretty confident that I have a good idea of it. Like, I was kind of hoping that someone would charge me mm. uh, I didn't want to do it I felt like it was smart to stay back but because I, I kind of wanted to see if I could you know remember all of the rules that I keep forgetting about mm. really combat because I have actually, I realised like, I don't think it's actually come up aside from maybe once, but Lyco is incredibly hard to get your hands on mm -hmm. in combat. Like, he has various bonuses that I keep forgetting he has. He's very slippery. Well, that's um, it though, like, it's just everybody's got complex characters now and obviously like the higher level you just get the more complex it's going to get. I can't learn all of your characters. I just can't. I need to learn all my stuff. Um, and design maps, and mess up with audio, and spill tea over my keyboard. Um, yeah, so I, I have all that um, stuff to do. So, <laughs> uh, but no, like as I said, disgusting spells, incredible role play, obviously as per usual. Even if it's just you know what we feel about the scene, because we dissected this episode a lot, despite there being very little said. It was more about what that <laughs> someone's spell choice and action economy in a fight dictates how we think of that character. I think that says a lot about this group so far. Because um, you can read into that, what that means for a character that doesn't exist, you know. Uh, that's pretty good. You've got two people in cans that obviously have just heard gunshots and they're wondering what's going on and nobody's told them. Um, but yeah, well done. Session 30, guys. That was good. Dear gods. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for playing, everybody. And good. Oh, thank thanks for listening. Thank, thank you, thank Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, goodbye everybody who was listening. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye.